Hi, everybody. Dr. Duresti with the Cranial Release Technique. You know, it seems lately I'm getting a lot of calls, a lot of emails from practitioners talking about, hey, can the Cranial Release Technique do something to help my patients with TMJ disorders or TMD disorders, as they're now being called? I just checked online. There's over 10 million Americans who suffer with TMJ, TMD disorder, this pain in the jaw area, pain while chewing, grinding of the teeth, all things associated with the TMJ area. And there's a very simple test that I always teach my practitioners that I'd like to share with you. And all you have to do is just take your fingers and place them in the patient's ears as they're looking at you. And I can guarantee you will not see your fingers in the ears like my fingers are here. You'll see something like that, something like that, You'll see distortion, either A to P distortion, anterior to posterior, or inferior to superior distortion, or a combination. Of course, when you see that, what that's really telling me is not, I'm really not interested in where are the ears in space. I'm interested where are the temporal bones? Because when the temporal bones are out of alignment, there's no way that the jaw can possibly function normally. And again, that's just the sign to me that the entire cranium is distorted. So with the application of cranial release, one of the things that still blows my mind to today is that I can take a patient, I can place my fingers in the ears, see distortion, apply the cranial release, come right back a minute or two later, and you'll see improvement. Many times you'll see complete improvement. That's telling me the cranium is more aligned. The TMJ will certainly function better. People start responding right away saying, oh, it feels as if my jaw is sort of floating in air because all that tension that most of us carry here because of the stresses of life in 2015, all those stresses that we all seem to carry now just sort of melt away with the application of CRT. So don't forget have your patient just look at you, standing up ideally. It could be on the table, but I like, I prefer standing. So you're looking at them, just place the fingers in the ears. You're going to see distortion. Then you apply the CRT, the cranial release technique, bring them back. You're going to see improvement. And again, that tells me we've optimized the cranial structure. We've optimized Dr. Sutherland's primary respiratory mechanism, the cranial pump. We've optimized central nervous system function. We've optimized overall health. And this person's going to have a better life because of that application of CRT that you just gave them. For my existing students, keep on keeping on. For the people who are not CRT practitioners, take a minute. Go to my website, cranialrelease.com. Again, all one word, cranialrelease.com. And I hope to see you at one of my trainings down the road. Thanks so much and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.